See, you got to trust God's word. Put on Matthew 24 and 35. God's word is forever settled. Matthew 24 and 35. Watch this. It says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Amen. Read it with me. Say, heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word, this is Jesus talking. He said, my word shall not pass away. We're talking about integrity. You're going to have to remind yourself that the word of God does not pass away. That whatever God has promised, it is true. So if he promised you healing, the moment you get the report from the doctor, you got to remember, but the word don't pass away. That God's word is true and he has integrity and by his stripes, I'm already healed. And there's scriptures that deal with it in the past tense and the present tense. You were, you are. Amen. Which means tomorrow I am. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's when you get, that's when you got real faith. You start making confessions about your future. So that I, I were and I am means I is. Or I be. They're all, they're all the same words, just different tense of the same word. And so, and so anybody here can say today, I am healed. That covers what you were, what you was, what you is, what you're going to be. I talked to somebody else. Anybody here know what I'm talking about? And that's how you can, you can have a arrhythmia in your heart. And all of a sudden, the enemy begin to speak to you and tell you, you better stop running. Y'all ain't going to help me. But then you say, you know what? I'm going to do the insanity because I'm insane for the word. I'm insane for Jesus. Am I talking to the right? You need to take a lap right now. Who was here on Wednesday night when she talked about that, how God healed her? You got to understand that. And, and she said the symptoms were still there and her heart would begin to beat. But then she decided, I'm not taking no medicine no more. Why? Because I were, I was, I is, I be, I am. And God has integrity. And when I wake up tomorrow, my heart's going to regulate. My body is going to line up with the word of God. Do I have a believer in the building? Somebody holler, say, God has integrity. Let me share something with you about God. Should he lie, it would not be a lie. It would become the truth. Do you understand that when God spoke in the beginning in Genesis chapter 1 and said, that, let there be light? Y'all can help me. Based on what he saw, there was no light. But once he spoke, it was light forever. And let me show you something. That light has been continuing based off that one word that he spoke. You didn't catch what I said. Light has been continuing to go forth out of the mouth of God. Light came forth out of his mouth. Life travels. Light travels at 100, 671 mile, a million miles per hour. Let me hear you. In the moment he spoke it, it's still been traveling. That's why when you get up tomorrow, it's coming back. That, that's why, guess what? If you could go across seas and you get there at a certain time, it'll be dark here and light there because light beats you into tomorrow. Y'all ain't going to help me. In other words, that word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And every place you go, guess what? If you got the word, it'll beat you there. It'll get there before you. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. Am I talking to the right people? Let me, let me share something with you as I get ready to close. Light travels at 671 million miles per hour. 186,000 miles per hour per second. The earth is 25,000 uh, uh, miles long. And watch this now. If you take 25 miles and div uh, miles long and 25,000 miles long and you divide it by one, 186,000 miles per second, that means that light travels around the world world, world excuse me, in 0.1344 seconds. However, if you consider the 12 time zones, it actually means it becomes negative. In other words, the light, the light travels then around the world yesterday in other words in other words when you speak the word today it was already here yesterday in other words the word beat you there y'all ain't gonna help me in here am i talking to the right people and so how can you panic off something that was already there and it was there before you spoke it because since he spoke it first it was already in your yesterday before you had it today or to tomorrow or tomorrow so how in the world can you be worrying about something in your life that seems so extreme when you already got his be have a wide fire at? turn to your name and say god took care of that on yesterday I want you to turn to somebody and say, and when I speak, I speak a word that returned to me yesterday. That's why he can declare the end from the beginning because he knows what you're, getting walk, you're walking into. He spoke a word that will manifest in your yesterday because if his word travels at the speed of light and his word is light and in it there is no darkness, touch your name and say, you can pray 
stage right now. Not do you have to wait till the battle is over. Yesterday already took care of it. I want you to run up to somebody and say, don't panic. It was already dealt with yesterday. Can I get somebody to praise today over your yesterday word? Can I get somebody to praise today? Because you know no matter what the devil brings tomorrow, that yesterday has already been, what yesterday has already, y'all what yesterday has already been taken care of. And so you found out you were sick today, but yesterday he was wounded. For my transgressions, he was bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. In First Peter, when it talks about it, it says, "By his stripes we were healed." What Peter was saying is, I'm not asking God to do something for me that He hasn't already done. I'm just asking Him to bring some of my yesterday into my today, so that it will be tomorrow. Am I talking to the right people? If I got somebody that believes in the integrity of God's word, you need to jump up on your feet and say I'm praising because I I got absolute victory today how do I know because of what 